Hey guys, this is Safe Tech Stuff, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to root the Nexus 5 on Mac. So I've already made a video showing how to do this on Windows. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on the Mac. So before we get started, we'll have to download some files. So let's move to the computer where we'll be downloading the files. Okay guys, so here I am on my Mac. So let's just go to Safari. This is the website where we'll be downloading it from. So the link for this will be in the description. We just need to click download root nexus 5 does it. And it should download. And once the download is done, you'll get a zip file that'll look like this, root nexus 5 does zip. I'll just move it to my desktop. So here I have the file. When we open it, we'll get a folder called root nexus 5. So in this, the program we'll be running is this, root nexus 5. So before we do that, make sure you have all your data backed up. Doing this will wipe all your data. Everything will be removed. So um, if you guys are backed up, we can go to the about phone. And if you guys do not have developer options on, you can turn on developer options. If you do have developer options, go to developer options. Let me show you how to turn them on. You just go to about phone and keep tapping build number. If you tap that seven times, you'll become a developer. Right now it says no need, you're already a developer. So I'll go back and click developer options and just check USB debugging. So once that's checked and you have all your data backed up, then we can connect our phone to the computer. Let me get my USB. I'll plug it in. So now it should say over here USB debugging connected. So now we'll have to put the phone in fast boot mode. So to do that, just turn power off the phone. Once the phone's power off, just hold the volume down button and the power button. And you should come to this menu. So in here, this is called fast boot mode. If you see that over here, it'll say fast boot mode. So that means we're in fast boot mode. So now let's open up the program on the computer. Here's the program. If this comes, root nexus 5 can't be opened because it is from an unidentified developer. Just click OK, right click and click open with and just choose the default. And it should say open. And you should get this. It says warning this will do a factory reset on your phone. Back up your phone first to make sure you're in fast boot mode and phone is plugged in. And then press enter to unlock your bootloader and root your nexus 5. Just click enter and you should get this on your phone. Unlock bootloader. If you unlock the bootloader, you will be able to install custom operating system software on the phone. So just use the volume button to navigate. Just click up and press the power button to select. Click yes. And at the bottom, it should say erasing. That will erase all your data. On the computer, you should see it will say loading. So just wait for it to load. Okay guys, so once it's done, you should say finished. Use the volume up and power button to select yes or no. Now press the power button to start the device. Let your device boot up. Complete the setup screen. Transfer update super SU onto your phone using Android file transfer. Download and okay, just click enter. Before we click enter, go to go to your phone, press the power button to turn it back on. It should say Google. So while it's powering up, we can go to our Mac and if you guys do not have Android file transfer, you can download that. The link will be in the description. You just download that and using that you'll be able to open the files from your Nexus 5. So if you click this, say opening 
and this will come. So once the phone's booted up, you get this Android logo when booting up. And once it's booted up, you'll be able to transfer the files using the program. So we'll wait for it. I'll forward this. As you can see, now it's booting up and it says unlocked. Uh, I kind of missed that. Well, we'll wait for it to boot up. Okay, so once the phones boot up, you should should come to this welcome screen. Everything is wiped, so I just set up the phone. I'll come back once it's set up, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys. So now that the phone is set up, we'll have transfer the file that we need to transfer. So let's go to our Mac. So here is the Android file transfer application. Just click that, and you should be able to access all your Nexus Five files. So this move this update super su this file this zip file just move it to the root of your nexus 5 you should transfer really quickly and after that once that's done let's open up the nexus 5 root tool again click enter enter back into fastboot mode and keep your phone plugged in press enter to continue so let's go back to fastboot mode to do that same way just power off your phone Once it's powered off, hold the volume down and power button. You should come to fast boot mode. Just hit enter. It says ready to install time TWRP recovery. Enter one, then press enter. So just hit one, click enter. It says sending recovery, writing recovery. And So now it'll say that um, to install SuperSU, just go to recovery. So here, if we press the volume down or volume up button twice, this recovery mode will come. Just hit the power button, and it should go into recovery. So here is the recovery. Over here, we have it says choose updates. Once in recovery, select install. So let's select install, and choose update SuperSU. That's the file that we moved to the root. So let's just scroll all the way down. This is the file. And just swipe to confirm flash. So just swipe that. And it should start installing something. And it should say successful. And just click home. And click reboot. System. And on the computer, just press enter. It says you're done. Congrats. Enjoy. So the phone is now rooted. And as you can see, it says unlocked. So once the phone boots up, you'll, I'll show you guys, we'll have Super SU. That means that the phone is rooted. It says Android is upgrading. So as you can see, this is exactly like new. And if we go here, this Super SU, this means that we're rooted. Right now I have no apps that use root and you can download a root checker and make sure that it's rooted. Okay guys, so if you did everything correctly, you guys should be rooted. And as you can see, I have Android 4.4.3. So this process should work on uh, most versions of Android. The latest version, which is 4.4.3 while I made the video. And I think 4.4.4 is coming out soon. So it should work on that too. So if this helped you guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you guys want to change the recovery, you guys can watch one of my videos. I've already made a video showing how to do that. Right now, I should have TWRP recovery. So if you guys want to change that, you can check out my other video. The link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, this is Safe's Tech Stuff. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to unroot the Nexus 5.